Hey Crafty Friends, welcome to the Alternate Bold and Beautiful video hop for their August 2022 release. For my project today, I'm going to be using the absolutely beautiful intricate mandala stencil from this release. As you can see, it comes in two pieces and it is, it is a really beautiful stencil. As well, I'm going to be using the Essential Black and White Paper Pack and the Fancy Greeting Stamp Set. And I have two pieces of watercolor paper here because we're going to be making two, kind of like a two for one in this video. So to start, I sprayed both pieces of my stencil, the back of them with a repositional spray adhesive. Because we are going to be using water, you do want to make sure, and also because the stencil is a very intricate, deli delicate image, you do want to make sure that you do have both pieces of your stencil stuck down to your watercolor paper really well. This will help to prevent as much water as possible from seeping under the lines of the stencil and keeping the lines as crisp as we possibly can. So now once I have my stencil adhered to my cardstock, I'm just taking two different colors of a pigment powder. One is a pink and one is more of like a corally peach pink. And I'm just sprinkling them on with this fan brush. This fan brush I keep exclusively for use with my pigment powders just so I don't get it all mocked up or anything use by using anything else. So I'm just taking a little bit of each powder, sprinkling them on. A little goes a long way with the uh, pigment powder, so you don't need a whole lot. I may have used a little too much on here, but oh well. <laughs> so once I'm done sprinkling all my powders, I just go over it with my brush and I just kind of spread the powders out just a little bit. And as you can see, you don't need a whole lot of powders on this, but you can kind of decide for yourself. So then I just go in with my spray bottle. As well, it's kind of a delicate line, delicate balance between how much water is too much water and how much is not enough. You just got to kind of trial and error, find out for yourself. And every stencil is going to be different as well. Obviously, the more delicate stencils like this one with the design, you won't need as much. Um, but just, just give it a try and, and play around and see how you make it. I did add a little bit too much water to this, as you will see once I remove the stencil from the watercolor paper but it still turned out really great regardless. So I just go back in with my paper towel and I just kind of dab off any excess water and pigment pattern. And then just remove both parts of my stencil. And as you can see, it turned out really, really nice. The two parts on the left and the right hand side, a little too much water was added, but it still turned out really, really beautiful. So now for my second one, I am going to be going in with some like a bluish teal and a purple pigment powder. So I'm just going to do the exact same process. Just kind of sprinkling them both on with my brush there and just kind of spreading out the powders just a little bit to kind of distribute the powders a little bit more evenly um, from when I just sprinkled them on. And then once I have them on, I'm just going to go in and give it a spritz there with my water bottle. Again, just adding a little bit more. I thought I need a little bit more purple. A little bit more. Oh, sorry, that was the teal blue. Just add a little bit more of the teal blue there because I apparently thought I need a little bit more. And so now I'm just going in and spraying it. Now I did go in with a little bit less water on this one. I did, yeah, so just a little, little less water was sprayed on this one, and you will be able to tell a difference between the two. Now, I did go back in and add a little bit more of the purple, a little bit more of the purple pigment powder there, because as you can see, the blue was kind of taking over a bit. So I just sprinkled on a tiny bit more purple just to kind of get that nice little contrast with the two colors. And just a tiny bit more spritz of water. I'm I'm pressing very lightly on the trigger there. So although it looks like I may be spraying a lot, it's actually very, very lightly, light sprays of water. So once I have it all dabbed up with my paper towel, I'm just going to remove it. And both pieces of the stencil came, came apart together there. And that is it. So you can see that the purple and the blue piece... I had a little bit more definition of the lines, the stencil design, than I did with the red one because I didn't spray as much water. But they both turned out absolutely beautiful. 
one is a little bit more fluid and the other one is a little bit more defined and that little part that I'm showing you there I did have a part of the stencil that kind of stuck up I think I might have bent it a little bit the first time I was wiping away the paper towel so I did get a little bit more of a um, not so defined little part there but hey that's all right not going to worry about that so now I'm just going in and trimming my piece down. I'm just trimming off the edges on all four sides to begin with, just to kind of get rid of the little border of the pigment powder that was not protected there. And so then once I have that done, I am going to trim off almost half of the one side so it can fit on my finished card piece. And once I have them there, now I have them trimmed to four by 5.25 inches. And because I'm going to be using a little strip of this, um, of the black and white, I'm going with the diagonal striped and that's gonna measure about, I'm gonna have it picking about, out about a quarter of an inch on the one side. So I just cut off two of the strips. And I realized that because I am going to have that on the one edge of it, I need to just cut off a little bit more to make up for the black and white stripe strip of paper that is going to be along the side of it. Now I do love the contrast of the monochromatic black and white striped ads to the design. Just just adds a little something that just a little something to it. And so now for my sentiment, I am going, I chose two different sentiments from the Fancy Greetings set. One is the You Can Do Anything, and the other one that I chose is Your Creativity Amazes Me. I love the font, the two different fonts mixed on this stamp set. The fancy scripty one, a la, well, with a more simple typewriter kind of font. And so now I'm just going to place my sentiment into my misty there please excuse the dirty the the black ink on my misty there i gotta clean it up so now i place one and then this one the first one i did was the your creativity amazes me i just placed in my misty there made sure that i had it nice and straight on the front of the on the lid and then i went in with my jet black ink mini ink cube and inked it up. And because this is a watercolor paper, I am using my Misty because I will need to stamp it more than once because the watercolor pa paper has a texture on it. So to get a nice crisply stamped black sentiment, I will need to go in more than once. So therefore I'm using the Misty stamp positioner so I can have it stamped in the exact same place every single time until I am happy with it. So now once I did do my first impression, I realized that my Jet Black Ink Cube had kind of dried up a bit, so I had to change change to a different black ink. So now I, I believe that I do go in and I stamp this about maybe three or four times just to nice, get a nice black, nice crisp black sentiment. I think I did, yeah, I think I did about four times there. And so now I did decide that since I already had my the sentiments positioned in my stamp positioner, I really didn't want to take it out and, and do a second one. So I just used the same sentiment for both of them. So I just repeated what I did for the first one on the pink piece, pink stenciled piece. And so now I'm just going to add my diagonal pattern stripe strips, pattern stripe strips to the left side of my cardstock there. Just kind of peeking out so it measures about a quarter of an inch on that side. Just trying to get it as evenly as I can, as straight as I can on the left hand side there. It doesn't matter if it's if it's flush with the bottom or the top of the paper. We're just going to be cutting off any excess that hangs from the top and the bottom of it. So that you don't have to worry about. Just try and get it as straight as you possibly can on the left side of the cardstock there. Once I have it in there, I'm just going to go in with my scissors and just trim off the overhang from both the top and the bottom of it. And as simple as that. And I do, I love the contrast that that, that that diagonal stripe adds to the more delicate stencil design of it. And so then all I'm going to do, I'm just going to add them both to an A2 
card base, which is four and a quarter by five and a half at measures. And I just adhered them right directly to the cardstock. I normally like to pop um, pop them up with some foam dots or a little bit of craft foam, but these I just decided just to adhere it directly to my card base. And that was it. So once I get it on there, I am just going to, apparently it was not on there straight or evenly even. So I just peeled it off as delicately as I possibly could while the glue was still wet and without ripping the card base or the watercolor piece. And I just played an placed an acrylic block on top of that just to kind of hold it down for a minute so I can get it and adhere to it really, really nicely. And then I just did the second one. And that was it. I absolutely love this design, this intricate mandala stencil. It really is a beautiful design. And you don't really need a whole lot more with it. And that is it. I hope that you have enjoyed my projects for today. Thank you so very much for stopping by along the hop. Don't forget to like the video subscribe and click that bell as well if you want to be notified for future videos. I hope you enjoyed the rest of the amazing inspiration that there was along the way on the hop and I hope you have the most wonderful and crafty day. Until next time, bye!